there are some times where the pros get mad and i think it's ridiculous there's sometimes they get mad and i actually agree with them i think we can all agree that ea has gone extremely soft and way too overprotective of people's feelings if you see this evidence today you'll probably understand and agree with me plenty to dive into and discuss in today's video make sure to like subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay up to date all things apex legends news related also wanted to make mention we are going to be giving away this new wraith heirloom but i'm doing it through my new partnership with z league and i'm posting exclusive videos over there i'm also hosting some tournaments over there that i know you guys are going to love i know my stream is going to love for sure if you guys want to enter into that giveaway the pinned comment is a link to my latest z league post make sure to follow me on there and make sure to like that post and leave a comment under it as well don't worry i'll also remind you at the end of the video about it and without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into today's video so this one is a little deep and it's probably going to be a little different we're taking deeper dives because there's a lot to discuss in today's video I know this may be somewhat controversial. Some of you may disagree with me, and that's totally fine. We're here to discuss, so definitely let me know your comments and your thoughts down below. Firstly, I wanted to mention this. Yesterday, an update came out for Apex Legends, and there were some issues. A lot of people came into my stream last night saying, yo, what's going on with my trackers? It's not working correctly. Many people didn't see what Respawn was up to, and that's when I really had to explain, so I wanted to bring it to you guys as well. So Respawn put out a tweet yesterday after the Imperial Guard collection event went live. They said, we are disabling the new Apex update 6.0.2 due to an issue where progressing the collection event on 16.0.2 interferes with your rewards once you have updated to today's patch of 16.0.3. To avoid this issue, please do not play the collection event without first updating your Apex client. So when I first read this, I was so confused and had no idea what I was reading. But then I began to understand, especially after I read some of the comments, what exactly this meant. So a lot of times apex will actually put multiple updates into one update that way the next update comes around and you don't really have to update your game it just kind of like goes right into the new update without having to do a formal update so the reason that they're doing this is because obviously they would just rather you go ahead and download one massive update rather than not being able to get right into the action and having to update small updates over time and i guess i understand in theory why they do that but there are some issues with a lot of this that's why a lot of the leaks get out they put a lot of this stuff in early a lot of people can see it in the game files they start leaking stuff super quick there's actually like an issue a couple of years ago with this and i don't know if it's patched by now but they were putting these updates early in the game files and players were actually able to just simply go and change their windows time and make it to be that day and time of the release date for the new update and it was actually showing in their apex game like all of a sudden you could literally change the date and time on your windows stuff and when you go back into the game the lobby was updated the event was showing it was showing all the skins it even said that you could buy some of this stuff at first but people weren't doing it because they just wanted to be safe and that's when crowdrindo just said look you guys should really stop putting the collection events early in the files just let people i guess do a formal update before it shows so if you were having some issues yesterday this is probably why and you just need to make sure your game is updated before you get in now here's where things get ridiculous at the beginning of the video i said that ea is getting too soft about protecting people's feelings and i know as soon as i said that i probably triggered a host of people out there what are you saying jay are you saying that people shouldn't have emotions or that people shouldn't feel certain ways or are you saying that people aren't entitled to have certain beliefs about certain things look i'm not really saying any of that i'm just saying we as a society seem to have really lost just natural logical discernment like, should someone get banned for going completely off the rails and saying you know i hope you get xyz and i hope you xyz and then i hope your mom xyz or i hope whatever like of course we shouldn't let people just go insane willy-nilly and start saying all this crazy stuff i'm not saying that banning people for bad text chat or bad voice chat is like horrible i'm just saying the ea standard of what is horrible has really gotten too soft and has gone too far to where that people can't even friendly banner anymore or friendly trash talk or even if it's not friendly i mean it's gaming trash talk to some degree should always be acceptable yes i do believe there are some lines you shouldn't cross and people should get banned for if they do cross to some degree i think we can all agree it has all gone down too far this is pro player his watson on pro team furia he posted this yesterday and saying i really don't know what just happened he got on a steam and apparently his ea account had been disabled and it said due to a violation of ea terms of service your account has temporarily been blocked from this product during this time you may not be able to access some of ea's products and services and you will not be able to access this product again until 
three days. If you need further assistance, please contact EA help at help.ea.com. People were commenting, is this because of R5 Reloaded? And he said, no. Thank you to also Mr. Plague for tagging me in this over on Twitter. But there was also a follow-up tweet. The reason that he had got banned, everyone, was because of this right here on screen. He told his teammate, F you, and that's literally all he said. And he got banned because they said, we consider this to be harassment and you cannot play again until your suspension ends. Maybe some of you agree, maybe some of you disagree that saying F you is a good or bad thing, or maybe it's not that big of a deal. But the problem of all of this was it's his three stack teammate. He said it in a jokingly way. It's his buddy three stack that they're playing with and he can't even have friendly banner with him anymore because EA is so busy policing people's speech. He really got a three day ban for this. I think we can all agree that that's a little too much. That's a little too far. These guys are not even able to friendly banner it seems like. And I've been telling myself I'm gonna stay away from the heavily opinionated stuff because I know it upsets a lot of people. I'm trying to just stay neutral but I'm about to just say it right here, okay? I, I feel like I gotta say it. He even if it wasn't a three stack, I don't think he should be banned for this. Let people argue with each other in a like, you know, decent manner. You may say this is not a decent manner and maybe it's not like 100% professional, but this is not crossing the line. I mean, come on. I mean, even if he was playing against 18 year old Johnny who just got home from his 12th grade classes at high school and Johnny's been really grinding ranked a lot lately and Johnny's getting ready to graduate in two months from now and Johnny's just popping off in ranked lately, right? He's done with all of his classes he's hardly got nothing to do it's his senior year and he's just been a high rank lately and he gets in a game with his watson and they start feuding about where they should relocate and his watson pops off at him and then johnny pops back off at him but at the end of the day these guys are teammates and these guys are all right as long as they do good it's called gaming like i said i'm not saying that there aren't lines out there that could be crossed and maybe you could ban someone for but this is not even close to a line. It's just bothered me lately that it seems like a lot of people have just like lost their discernment of saying like, look, the situation is always more complex than just one extreme over the other. But that seems to be exactly what people have done. They've taken the extremes and say, oh, you should be able to say whatever you want, cross every line. Who cares what people think? Just go ahead and say it. Don't worry about being moral. Don't worry about being ethical. Don't worry about caring and having compassion on people. But on the opposite side, we've got too much extreme of let's just make everybody happy and just happy go lucky. All is a fairy tale bliss. Protect everybody's feelings and it'll all be okay. The truth always usually lies somewhere in the middle. Just use discernment. Talk your trash. Get into arguments. You know what's right and wrong to say. You know the lines you shouldn't cross but get into as many arguments as you want to as long as you keep it clean believe it or not there is a way to still respect people while you get into heated arguments and friendly banner as well all right guys that's my ted talk for the day hope you guys enjoyed the video if you didn't leave a dislike if you did enjoy it leave a like i'll see you guys in the next one make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys want to go check out my heirloom giveaway that i'm doing over on z league and my latest z league post Click the link down in the pinned comment below. Follow me there, like that post, and comment on that post as well. I'm going to be hosting some tournaments over on Z League as well, and I'm super excited about it. Solos tournaments, trios tournaments, all kind of stuff. Have a great rest of your day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Later, Gators.